everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining us on today's video. We are going to move into a very special Mercedes G-Wagon. You say, well, Tone, uh, that's a nice looking G-Wagon, but why is it special? Well, you know what? Now we're gonna talk all about the details of why this is different than the other G-Wagons that are out there. And I think that you'll find this needs a place in your garage. All right, so, so we're looking at this G-Wagon and we go, you know what, that's really nice looking, but why is it nice looking and why it's different? Okay, here's where we are. This is the diesel version of it. I get these out of Italy for a reason, because this one first off was restored, okay? And it's uh, had an engine rebuild, it's had new paint, it's had a custom interior that we had done, and like this nice cute lady in Italy hand sews all the seat covers in here. When we get in there, you're gonna go like, wow, that's all hand done? Yes, 100%, we picked the leather, we picked the stitching, we picked the pattern, super cool. But like the front end here, all nicely updated with lights and LED and what have you. This has a Lorenzer package with a couple nice features of uh, some additions you'll see as we keep moving around the car. But what I wanted to focus on so much was how great this wheel and tire selection here. 20 inch wheels, the car came with 15 inch wheels from the factory uh, back in the day. And uh, here we have a very different looking vehicle. Now we add in the fact that this is a diesel. So think about this for a second, an F-250 is always worth 50% more uh, with a diesel than the gas version, 50%. That's why this right here, although probably more expensive than a gas version, everybody has a gas version, nobody. Very few people have a diesel version like this and restored and upgraded and more power and new interior and, and, and. So anyway, spectacular. So what I'd like to do right now is if we could, let's go ahead and check the paint because the paint is all nice and new. It's all wet sanded and buffed, right? And let's check and see what I talk about all the time. I get stopped in the streets all over the country saying, hey, Tone, I see you do the mirror thing on the thing. Yeah, I do. You know why? Read those letters. You can read every single letter in there nice and crisp, nice and detailed everything. It's not just a picture of the letters, it's how crisp they are. And the crisper they are, the better the paint quality is and the happier you'll be. All right, so why I like to stand back here for a second is because no other car looks like a G-Wagon. When you look at them, they are uh, set apart from every other sport utility that's out there. It's what makes them a G. And the fact is everything on them is super heavy duty, super heavy duty stuff. I mean, listen to the latch, the latch alone. Listen to that. And everything bolted down, heavy duty. This one, uh, the LED lighting around. It's the style of it that I love so much and the fact that it is so heavy duty. It's a great off-road vehicle. Once we get inside, you're gonna get to see the differential locks and all that stuff. Plus it's detailed underneath and when here and you look around, you're gonna see that the back seats fold down the way they're supposed to and huge amounts, cavernous amounts of room inside here. A great carpet, everything in here, super heavy duty, super nice high-end stuff and really, really nice. All right, so I want you to join me in here, but I want you to hear this first before we get in and why a G is a G. Listen. Everything in here is overbuilt. The door panels are even heavy. This interior is spectacular. This is the interior that we had custom made, right? This little button, pull this down. Custom made uh, in Italy before we shipped the car over here. But you have things like differential locks. You have... Uh, ABS, you have front, rear washers, wipers, you have uh, heated seats, power windows, power locks. This is a, a modern vehicle. You know, these original early ones before the 93 models uh, were very basic. Some had roll up windows, no air conditioning, stuff like that. And just uh, as you move on, this has the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system with a digital upgrade right here as well. Uh, overdrive automatic. The diesel with the turbo diesel is really nice power. It doesn't really matter whether you have five people in here or one people in here. It still kind of goes the same exact speed. Got a power sunroof. I get excited about them because if you've ever owned one of these things, they just drive different, man. They're heavy duty. And when they go down the road, people look at them and go, man, that is a great looking truck. Why? Because it is a great looking truck. All right, so this may not be important to you to want to look under the hood, but if you want to go to a car show, you're going to go to a car show that people have not seen this before. 
This is uh, the 2.5 liter engine in here, but this is an upgraded version of it, right? You can see uh, with the intercooler upgrade, uh, the turbocharger upgrade, uh, all of the things under here, which make for just, I don't know, just a, just more power, more power and more torque, but nicely delivered, smooth. The overdrive automatic makes it so easy to, to go on down the highway or tow or carry five people to the beach, go off road. It's just got such great uh, off road abilities. If you were to look underneath of it, you could see why, because it has uh, incredible detail of four wheel driveness. But back to the engine here, here's where the power is, right? And the fact is, it's not the V8 like everybody else has. It's a turbo diesel, so you're getting huge amounts of torque. I mean, huge amounts of torque that wheel you down the road well, and no one else has one. All right, so let's go ahead and recap a lot of what we went over because there was a lot of stuff we went over. So first off, we have brand new paint in a great color, right? Spectacular looking, we already know that. The wheel and tire combination, not only is it a little bit bigger, but it's a factory style wheel and tire with the red calipers, I think, again, looks really good. The upgraded package around here, the Lorenzer stuff that's on here, the upgraded LED lighting, what have you. Then we moved inside the car. Inside the car is a full custom interior that we had hand done by a person, not bought a factory, right? This was done by somebody who fitted it and did it all, and it came out, I think, super, super nice, right? And then you have modern accoutrements. We're talking about power windows and power sunroof and power locks and upgraded digital sound and heated seats. Like those are really nice things to have. And you don't have to spend 150 to 200,000 to get this kind of stuff today. It is awesome. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this G-Wagon. And if you would, don't forget to like this video down below there. All right. And if you don't, uh, if you don't share this with your friends, how will they know that we're here? Okay. And subscribe to the channel. We've got new content coming out every single day. Talk to you later. All right. We're back out in the G driving around. Uh, we're talking about, we're talking about cars that make a difference on the road when people see them. You know, the reason we don't sell uh, mainstream cars is mainstream cars are great and those are daily drivers and people have to have them. But for instance, like this vehicle here, it looks different. It drives different, it acts different, it's handmade. The G is an expensive vehicle for many reasons. The drivetrains are amazing. We can lock the differentials if we want, each one separately, right? Depending on how much four wheel drive we want. This is just, and it handles. Like we go around these corners and we're rolling down the, the hill and everything seems to be good. The diesel is awesome, listen to it. You hear the turbo spool up just a tiny little bit. It goes so well, and it's not loud. It's no louder than the V8. The insulation that they put under there is really great. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the ride. We're going for a ride in it. Just, uh, this is your seat I'm sitting in this one time. Thanks so much for allowing me to do that. And uh, off we go.